Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time. Do tell. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerth, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerth to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The Elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Lemire. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can 
see that again. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. Odd. It looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. Mechie. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. <laughs> We start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. archive of knowledge no sign of the light elves for now maybe they've left for the day and we can browse at our leisure rooms.
techs alone are not enough to end the elven war. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye. Quite the advantage for the Light Elves. All this knowledge of their ancestors. Their shared history, poetry. Just sitting here. Sealed, but there is an inscription. The consul. Big Veer spoke of an exile with the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Here's the librarian would like a word. Lata Thalmog. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike for Protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking a look. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice.
what survived of Giant's corpse to a uh, stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive Giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. The mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. We found the Sanctum in Alfheim and acquired a locked journal. The inscription reads, The Consul. The Consul's journal? No wonder it's locked. That might be what we're looking for. We'll pop it over to the dwarves. They can take it from there. The Consul risked everything to understand the mistakes of our past. And now those lessons can endure. Thank you, Kratos. The elves and we won't forget this. for you to not go but I was just so angry that day I said the dumbest stuff I've ever said and you know how much I have to choose from angry listen I'm only trying to say I closed a chapter today I thought I never could maybe every bit of anger and pain we can find a way to let go of is a gift we can give ourselves you know I'll drink to that. Sure, I'm open. Oh, elven design, huh? Always love their style. Lots of curves. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Brock never met no lock he couldn't lick. I'll get this sucker open and pass it along to them elves with your regards. Do you regret it, Lemire? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. 
How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Time. What's there? We still have unfinished business there. There's another storm out past the Barrens, which means there's another Hofkuper that needs rescuing. I'm with you. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland. At a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You were there? No. Is that regret in your place? I did regret not dying there for many years. But no longer. So, he's at the Valing Schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Tell me of an adversary from your home. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A miracle turned her own powers against her. Or you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. Oof! <laughs> 
Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. <laughs>
ever written poetry of your own, brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question. More Draugr crawling out of the bloody ground. the gods for the death of her family and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way.
Yeah. <laughs> 